Hey everybody, this is Paul, and today I'm going to talk about grevilleas in Southern California and pruning them. So this is Grevillea Long John. It's middle of December, so if you're looking for a winter bloomer, definitely grevilleas are your plants. Also, no fertilizer for these. And most varieties like Long John here are pretty tolerant of our climate. So this is what it looks like when you prune it nicely to kind of form a thick hedge. You can see all the blooms, how frequent they are, and how plentiful. Granted, if you want a grevillea that looks like this, get Long John. It's probably, the, in my opinion, the, uh, the hardiest and blooms the longest year-round, I would say, in Southern California. So anyways, that's what it looks like when it's pruned. If you look really carefully, you can see where I pruned it last year. Okay, see them both right there? So that's kind of my strategy to kind of make it a nice, thick kind of privacy screen. So uh, unlike Grevillea Long John, I have Grevillea Fire Sprite over here. And I did not prune it last year. And it kind of got really long and wispy. So you can see here, there it is. And it's just not as pretty. So it's kind of longer and wispier. It definitely needs a haircut. I would say it's up approaching maybe 10 feet in certain parts. And then with any storm or strong wind in Southern California, this is what will happen to a grevillea. So you'll get a really tall branch that will break. Sometimes they even break at the stem if you're not careful. So I'm going to show you how to prune this guy so you'll have a much prettier grevillea. And honestly, you can prune them however you want, whenever you want. But the best time would be, in my opinion, any time between November to about June. So I like to prune them in the winter, and that's just my thing. Um, and certain other varieties on it, I will actually kind of prune them back in the spring. So you can see, I guess my goal is kind of, like if I was to take this branch here, I prune it about four feet up. You can see I did it there a couple years ago. So for this one, I'm gonna probably prune it right down here. So anyways, I'm gonna kind of prune the whole thing, show you what it looks like at the end, and that way it will promote thicker growth in the future and more flowers. All right, okay, so at first I, you can see how much I removed. I used that tool. It's ancient, but I love it. So I used the large shears, lopping shears, I believe you call them. And now you can see I removed the oldest growth. So like over here on the left, see that? That's newer growth, so it's gonna do better. So I will cut farther down on older growth. It's kind of has little uh, life on it. So it doesn't look good at all right now, but once I use my small shears and kind of finish it off, I'll show you what it looks like next. Okay, so there you have it. It's done. And I know it's not doesn't look, look like much right now, but it will in a month or less. So we'll really have nice growth with all this rain. So you can see how much I pruned back, which is quite a bit, but it really needed it. I probably haven't pruned this thing for two years, I'd say. I have neglected it maybe a little trim here and there. But the reason why you want to prune your grevillea is I'll show you here. This is kind of the perfect example here. You can see that most of it has this kind of dead wood that won't really grow back. So this piece here, this piece here. So you could just prune that if you really want a big plant. But if you prune it back harder, farther down here, like I did, well, you lose some of these flowers here, these blooms, but you'll get plenty more these aren't open yet, of these if you do this method. So I've had plenty of practice and I really believe that this is how you do it to get your grevillea to look really thick and lush in Southern California. So there you go, give us a like and a subscribe. We'll keep them coming, have a great day. Dude, it's creepy.